Hey folks, now today what I want to talk about is the difference between the Mars 2 Pro and the Mars 3. Now, the Mars 3 is coming out with a Pro version as well, so you'll see that the Mars 2 is on clearance at the moment. If you're looking at picking up a 3D printer, is it worth going for the older generation, or should you stick to the new stuff that's coming along? What's the major difference? Well, luckily I've had experience with all three generations of Mars printers. I had one of the originals, then a 2 Pro and a 3. The latter two are going to be the two that we compare today, and I have a couple of examples of miniatures printed on those two. But you have seen miniatures printed on the original Mars previously. The difference in results between the Mars 2 Pro, or the Mars 2, and the original Mars is mostly down to how long it takes to print. They both had 2K resolution screens, and the real difference is that the monochrome screen that you get in more recent printers prints much more quickly. An exposure time going down from between 8 to 11 seconds on the original machines to 2.5 at the most on the more modern monochrome screen machines, which all of those that are currently available are. So the Mars, the original, was a nice little machine, but it has been largely superseded by this generation. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So a quick look at the Mars 2 Pro. Obviously, you can read the, uh, the technical specs yourself. The real big difference here between the 2 Pro and the 3 that I'll show you shortly is in this here, the XY resolution. But the difference between the 2K screen, which the Mars 2 has, and the 4K screen that the Mars 3 has isn't maybe as stark as you might think. Because, importantly, the build volume you'll see listed here on the Mars 3 is a little larger. Quite a lot larger, actually. And that is the difference between printing between 6 to 8 figures to a whole squad of something at a time. You know, 12 figures easily fitting on a build plate. So somebody ran the numbers, and I'm willing to accept this is as accurate. The real difference isn't a straight 100% increase in accuracy. What you've got is a rough 30% increase in pixel density over the entire distance of the build volume between the Mars 2 Pro and the Mars 3. So 30% increase in pixel density. What does that actually do? Well, let's get a look at a couple of miniatures. So, for comparison's sake, here is Marshall Wilhelm from the Maker's Cult. Now, you might actually have seen him on the channel previously. I painted one just for the fun of it, and it was a really entertaining experience. Uh, this one, he came off of the Mars 2 Pro as well, so it's a pretty good comparison. The reason why I've chosen this miniature in particular is because it's a single piece. So any differences that you see between this version and the Mars 3 version are going to be down purely to how the machine has printed them. So as you can see, this is a really good print. Uh, this, once it is painted, you can put it on the table. Without picking it up, you'd never know it was a 3D print. But for comparison's sake, there is the Mars 3. Now that 30% pixel density increase, what does that actually translate to? Because the 2 and the 3 look very similar. Now the only major differences I've experienced between the two machines comes down mostly to areas where there is recess detail, so these carved out sections or the, the embossed versions where there's little bits of detail like that, and funnily enough, the belt buckle. So if I go between three and two, you'll see the belt buckle is ever so slightly more square on the three. Honestly, for the case of printing miniatures, the difference between the 2 Pro and the 3 is fairly minimal. So if you're looking to just knock out an army, well, picking up one of the 2s on clearance, probably not a bad idea. Let's get those side by side. So here they are, and they are both printed using exactly the same settings, which I'll include in the description so that if you've got one of these machines, you can follow along with what I've had success with. Um, I do still think the 3 is a slightly better print. Not enough that it would make a huge difference to how an army will look on the table, but the funny thing is, I've been able to print stuff that I've uh, supported myself using slightly smaller supports. My small supports have gone down from 0.15mm to 0.10, because the pixel density means that supporting is actually 
fractionally more accurate, which does make a difference at these scales. So my fine supports, for the most part, have gone down by a third in size, which will mean that any connections I need to clean up much less vigorously. It's nice. They just pop off the supports really cleanly. And no discussion about Alagoo's machines would be complete without talking about their customer service. So I want to share a story from when I first got started with the Alagoo Mars, the original. It came to me and it was printing fine for a week and then I broke the screen. It was my mistake. Uh, I forgot to take something off the build plate, lowered the plate for a new print and crack. You know, I broke that machine myself. Obviously it's still a warranty, so I contacted Alagoo and asked if they could help and they sent me out a new screen to replace it, so that's nice. But they sent it in a padded envelope, and when it arrived, it was pretty badly damaged. It had been cracked, it was no good either. So I contacted them again, and I said, hey, look, can you make sure that the next one gets to me okay? And they said, not a problem, we'll send you out a new machine. So they did. Just a whole new Mars to replace the one with the broken screen, because it was easier to just get me something that worked. And that's the sort of thing which I've heard repeated from a few folks who've actually ordered through Alagoo before that their customer service is really great. And you're looking you know, at, at no more than about 12 hours for an email response in most cases, which is, you know, it's great. In this day and age, I think with so many resin printers on the market, the real difference isn't so much in the machine themselves as the company that you're gonna be getting them from. So I've always had excellent service from Alagoo, and I think that deserves a mention. So do you want to pick up a Mars 2 Pro or a Mars 3? Well, I think the difference there, it is visible. But like I said, not so much so that I think you'd lose out by picking up a 2 on clearance. But if you want to future-proof yourself, or you like the idea of a larger build plate, which I certainly do, then the 3 is the way to go. So hopefully this comparison is interesting, and like I said, I'll pop my print settings in the description so you can copy those as well. Any questions or anything, feel free to drop them down there too. I'll do my best to answer. Thank you for your time, folks. You all enjoy the rest of your day.